Starting things off, taking a look at our visible satellite, and it is not far away. A major hurricane by the name of Lee, now a Category 3 storm. You can see a bit of an eye trying to develop there. Has gone through some intensity and uh, intensity changes over the past uh, weekend or so, but still looking pretty impressive and still dragging a lot of that northerly wind down and towards our regions. That's why we're seeing a lot of those rip currents as well as the dangerous waves uh, that Elspeth was talking about out there. But besides that, not really dealing with a whole lot going on for the most part. Taking look at the latest track. This is a category three storm expected to strengthen into a category four storm once more before it goes further off to the north. Winds expected to be 130 down to 110 and it encounters more of that cooler air across the eastern coast of the United States. Not really expecting to do too, too much out there in terms of land impacts, maybe eastern Canada or far northeastern United States. Margo over here, also a tropical storm. Of course, Lee over there. And we're tracking two new waves coming off of Africa. This one X here uh, does have six chance of formation within the next seven days. Another little area here ahead of it does have 10% chance of formation within these next seven days. Taking a look at Cooper Island as we woke on up for our Monday morning. Not seeing a whole lot going on here. A bit of wind to contend with and not dealing with too much in terms of swell there, but certainly a lot of those northern facing beaches seeing more of that. As you can see, uh, Lee expected to continue to push further and further to the north. It is a slow mover too. Only about five to 10 miles per hour is what the speed is that moving at. Could be seeing a little more shower and storms kind of dragged along with it, but those should all clear on out as we continue into our Tuesday night. You can see a few of them fast moving, so some quick gusty winds associated uh, with those outer bands will be possible moving forward. But once we get into the weekend, not real, or once we get into the middle of the week, not really expecting anything in terms of impacts, even those waves expected to decrease just a bit. The wind coming from the south as we head towards our Tuesday morning. You can see more of the same as we head into our late Tuesday with those winds decreasing just a bit. The strongest winds further off to our north and that wind direction really just dictated about where that hurricane is heading into our Wednesday daytime. Not a whole lot of uh, change there in some of the wind we will be seeing. St. Thomas, St. John, all seeing a little bit increase of some wave action there. But for the most part, I think uh, many of the southern areas, St. Croix, southern parts of St. Thomas and St. John, should be shielded from the majority of that wave action. Our Tuesday forecast, windy conditions, St. Thomas and St. John, but otherwise mostly sunny skies, 88 up towards 90 degrees for the afternoon highs. It's around 30 uh, to 33 degrees Celsius for that kind of uh, translation or the conversion there uh, to those uh other units. Here's our Tuesday forecast. A bit windy out there. Uh, high towards 90 degrees. More of the same in terms of those temperatures heading into these next few days. A mix of sun and clouds for the middle of the week. We're shedding uh, the wind and the waves as we continue into the middle of the week too. Rain chances do look to remain relatively low. Has seen a little bit of it this weekend, but looking like we'll be staying dry through the middle of this week and heading into our weekend. Nothing really to worry about. We'll take them. We'll take the dry weather and the warm conditions for as long as we can. Yep, only seeing improvements, so can't complain.